Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and I know that I'm outside again. <laughs> I shot the last video, um, my last intro when I was stuck in traffic trying to get home to show you guys my project idea. And uh, I just decided to shoot outside today because it's just really sunny and beautiful and when I'm working on my project I have to be inside anyway so I figured let me just do it out here since I'm going to be inside for the rest of the day anyway. It's a little cold out here but it's still really beautiful it's a sunny day so today I'm gonna show you guys how to do um, a sweater taken like I'm gonna show you I'm gonna take a huge sweater an oversized sweater and I'm gonna show you how to make it fit you so if you have some old sweaters laying around like hoodies and things and um, you want to revamp it I'm gonna show you how to do that today and I'm just gonna show you how to jazz it up and make it fit you I'm gonna take like a super old hoodie I think the one I'm using is from my brother and I'm going to take one that fits me and I'm just going to show you guys what I do. So this is a really quick project. I know I have a lot of those but this one is like it really works and uh, you can just go through your closet and anything that doesn't fit you you can totally just do this project with it. So I'm going to take you inside and I'll show you how to do that. If you're interested keep on watching. So this is the project I'm working on. As you can see I have this old crusty looking Orlando hoodie in the center of this very big one. This big one belongs to, well belonged to my brother. He's huge. He's like really tall. And this hoodie, I like this one because it's really long. Um, it actually sits at my hips. So I'm actually going to keep the length because I like my hoodies long. I hate when they stop at your natural waistline or right on top of your butt and then once you bend over and everyone sees your business. So what you can do is go ahead and find a hoodie that you like the length of it and the way it fits you. And if you have like a big one laying around the house, go ahead and grab that and you can like morph it into something that will fit you. Any hoodie will do. This one is pretty old. It's from a old <laughs> relationship. So I'm just going to use it as a stencil. I might throw it away, I don't know. <laughs> That's another story. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'm just going to cut one inch around because if you cut too close to it and you make it too small and it doesn't fit you, then there's nothing you can do about it. You're just going to have to give it to somebody else or something like that. So It's better to cut it too big because you can always take it in. So all I did was lay it up and match the zipper with the zipper, shoulder with the shoulders best that I could, and the top of the arm to the top of the arm. So when I take the arms in, I'm only going to cut like right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I'll show you what it looks like right before I sew it. By the way, this sweater underneath is a 2XL, and this thing right here is a woman's... I'm pretty sure it's like a small or medium. It's a medium. Okay, let's get I already cut off over here. That's this portion here. And I cut off this side. I thought I was recording. Oh well. So now I'm going to cut the portion of the arms. Now, on normal hoodies and sweatshirts, there's no seam at the top here. So do not cut up here. You want your seams to be at the bottom where no one's going to see them. So that's where I'm going to cut. So I'm going to finish cutting this. I need both arms. So, yep, I'm going to keep the length of it because I have really long arms as well. So, I mean, these are actually pretty long, but I don't mind covering my hands. So this is what I took off of this part. Um, I'll clean that up later. And then I'm just going to do this side and then I'm ready to sew. what I have so far. Um, slightly uneven by the armpit, so I'll probably just take a few measurements. Um, I don't know what that logo is. I don't care. I will put glitter on it or some kind of cute little stamp and patch. So I'm really excited. This is going to be so cute. This is really easy. This can take you like five minutes. So if you have a bunch of hoodies that don't fit or even if you want like crop this, it's so easy. I'm gonna go and stitch this and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay. By the way, 
it i want to point out i have a brother sewing machine um this one is the xr 1300 it's a digital one it's pretty awesome it has like the reverse button here you can pull the needle out here reverse your stitch it has a whole bunch of different types of stitching this sewing machine is awesome and the price was pretty decent too so if you don't have a sewing machine, this is a really good one to get the XR1300. I got it off by Amazon. So this is what the hoodie looks like now. It's way more fitted and it's long. A nice little waistline. And it's done. Well, almost done. It's a little bit too plain. <laughs> so what I decided was I went through some of the materials that I have. And I have some black lace here, white embroidered lace. I was thinking I could put some of it like on the arm or I was thinking I could put something on the back of it. So what I decided was because I knit and crochet a lot, I have this mandala that I made I crochet this is crochet it's a really simple beautiful pattern if you are interested in it let me know and I'll get you a picture of the pattern so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stitch this back here and it will be done so just give me a moment let me do that and show it to you guys this is what the hoodie looks like now see how long it is I love that on the back, the fit is so cute. I could probably get away with using this as a dress, maybe, but it's a little warmer. But how cute is this? I think I'm gonna put some stuff on the sleeve, maybe. I don't know. I just love it though. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I will be doing so many more. If you have any projects that you're interested in doing, go ahead and leave a link in the description, in the uh, comments, and um, or you can go to my Instagram page at Elizabeth Crown and leave uh, pictures, or you can at me at whatever it is that you're trying to make, and I will do my best to help you create it. Okay? Have a great day, guys mind me also I'm using my phone because my laptop died and I need to buy a new one so I can't really use my camera because then I would have to put the SD card in the laptop and I can't do that so I'll be filming with my phone until until I get another laptop <laughs>